Well, good morning and welcome to the committee's fourth meeting of 2019. We have apologies from Liam MacArthur. Agenda item one is consideration of an affirmative instrument, first tier tribunal for Scotland housing and property chamber incidental Pro provisions regulations 2019 draft. And I welcome Ash Denham. Minister for Community Safety and our officials, Gaynor Davenport, Housing Services Policy Unit, and Kirsten Simone Lefebvre, um, who is then the Director of Legal Services with the Scottish Government. Um, I refer members to paper one, which is a note by the clerk, and invite members to the Minister to make a, a short opening statement. Uh, thank you, convener, and good morning to the committee. So I'm pleased to be here this morning to discuss two fairly technical uh, regulations that will make the housing and property chamber of the first tier tribunal operate more efficiently in line with the original policy intentions to deliver the benefits of specialism, consistency and accessibility, and also improved access to justice for both tenants and for landlords in the private rented sector. And I'll just give a little bit of background on the development of the Housing and Property Chamber of the First Tier Tribunal, followed by a summary of the two related instruments that are before you this morning. So the Housing and Property Chamber was established in December 2016, when two existing housing panels transferred into the First Tier Tribunal as part of the first phase of tribunal reform. And the creation of this chamber saw the transfer of the civil jurisdiction in relation to most private tenancy related cases from the Sheriff Court to the First Tier Tribunal in December 2017. The First Tier Tribunal can now make orders equivalent to decrees previously made by Sheriff Courts. For example, Sheriffs can make orders to evict tenants and the Tribunal can now do the same. The basis for raising a case and the matters to be taken into account also remain the same. Rules of procedure covering all types of civil cases in the new Tribunal were made by virtue of the first tier Tribunal Housing and Property Chamber Procedure Regulations 2017, also known as the 2017 Rules. And the court transfer was a large scale transfer under the Housing Scotland Act 2014. And as the first tier Tribunal gained operational experience of handling its new caseload from the Sheriff Court, it did identify some areas where the legislation could be clarified. So my officials listened carefully to the views of the first tier tribunal and agreed that there were some areas where the legislation could be amended to provide that clarification. So the instruments before the committee today respond directly to the issues raised by the tribunal. So turning to the instruments themselves, we have the negative instrument, so that's SSI 2018-378, and this is the first tier tribunal for Scotland Housing and Property Chamber Procedure Amendment Regulations 2018. And this amends the 2017 rules that set out the procedures of the Housing and Property Chamber. The affirmative instrument is the First Tier Tribunal for Scotland Housing and Property Chamber Incidental Provisions Regulations 2019. And this affirmative instrument is needed to amend the primary legislation. And subject to the approval of the committee, it resolves some minor drafting matters and amends the Debtors Scotland Act of 1987 and the Bankruptcy and Diligence, etc. Scotland Act of 2007. This makes clear the procedures to be followed and to make certain orders previously made in the Sheriff Court in consequence of the transfer of civil jurisdiction. So that's just a brief overview of the regulations that are before you today and I'd be happy to answer any questions that the committee might have. Thank you. Um, questions? John Finney. Uh, good morning, Minister Panel. Uh, Minister, our, our policy objectives here, Note 2 says, on 1st December 2017, most private sector rented sector civil cases transferred from the Sheriff Court. Does that remain the case, or are there any still considered at the Sheriff Court? There are some cases still in the, um, in the um, Sheriff Court, for example, um, houses in multiple uh, occupation, and that would require um, consultation with um, local authorities. Um, that's, that's, the, that's the main one that I can think of. Um, but it was, we had a big consultation at the time. We decided it was best to leave it at the Sheriff Court. Um, and not involve HMOs in the large-scale transfer. But it's not to say that in the, in the longer term, HMOs won't transfer. 
Thank you. If, if I may, can you maybe say why the rationale? I know that sometimes there can be a lot of controversy around HMOs. Why was it decided to leave it? Can you? Um, I think um, from memory, um, speaking to different councils, um, and you're probably the city councils, you know, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Dundee, um, it was considered actually very expensive when you actually broke it apart and, and seen what was nece necessary procedurally, given the fact that um, the councils and the local authority already do an intensive scrutiny at the local authority committee stage. So it's quite technical and it's quite complicated and it was out of sync with you know, the rest of the caseload that we were transferring. Local authorities weren't in any rush to do this. Um, but it's not something that we've, we've said that we wouldn't do. We said that we would look at it in the, in the longer term. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any other questions from members? Uh, do you have any other further comments, Minister? No. In that case, agenda item two is formal consideration of the motion in relation to the affirmative instrument. The Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee has considered and reported on the instrument and has no comments on it. The motion will be moved with an opportunity for formal debate if that's necessary. The motion is... Motion 15300, that the Justice Committee recommends that the first year Tribunal for Scotland Housing and Property Chamber Incidental Provisions Regulations 2019 draft be approved. Um, Minister, um, can you move the motion? Formally moved. Thank you. Do members have anything further to add? That being the case, and I put the question that motion 15300 in the name of Ash Denham be approved. Are we all agreed? agreed? We are all agreed. That concludes consideration of the instrument. The committee's report will note and confirm the outcome of the debate. Is the committee uh, agreed um, to delegate authority to me as convener to clear the final draft report? It is. Uh, in that case, we suspend to allow the Minister and officials to leave before consideration of the next item. Agenda item three is consideration of a negative instrument, First Year Tribunal for Scotland Housing and Property Chamber Procedure Amendment Regulations 2018, SSI 2018 Oblique 378. I refer members to paper two, which is a note by the clerk. After, um, do members have any comments? No comments. Then is the committee agreed it does not wish to make any recommendations in relation to this instrument? Agreed. We are agreed. Agenda item four is consideration of whether a statutory instrument made under the powers conferred on the devolved authorities in the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018 has been laid under the appropriate procedure. The instrument is Licensing Amendment EU Exit Scotland Regulations 2019 SSI 2019 Oblique 6. I refer members to paper 3, which is a note by the clerk, and paper 4, which is a private paper. The instrument has been laid under the negative procedure. The committee will consider the policy content on, of the instru instrument at uh, a future meeting. Do members have any comments? Right. Um, is the committee therefore agreed that the negative procedure is the appropriate procedure for this instrument? Agreed. Well, yes. Before we do. Uh, the, the only thing I say, we, we don't prejudice our ability to make the same decision for any future similar legislation by, right. Yes. So no. yes. Every instrument will be um, judged on its own merits. Yes. Okay, if that's the case, is the committee agreed that negative procedure is appropriate for this instrument? We are agreed, thank you. That concludes the public packer today's meeting. Our next meeting will be on the 5th of February when we'll discuss the public petitions currently under consideration by the committee. We'll also consider our forward work programme. We now move into private session. <laughs>